Hola, hola, hola. Buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. And it's that time of the week again where we're going to be setting up our fitness planner. So this baby right here, this um, is a classic happy planner. I have the cozy critters cover on it with these gorgeous gorgeous purple glitter discs and I just recently decided that this is going to be called my holistic health hybrid planner triple h planner my hybrid holistic health oh my goodness my pugs are scratching at the door you do not like to be without me they want to be in the room that I am in if I'm in a room without them there's a problem they have to be in there with me <laughs> anyways this is going to be my hybrid holistic health multi-planner my holistic health multi-planner i'm still figuring out exactly what this is going to be called but this planner is a franken planner it's a hybrid planner i have five different planners um hybridized collated mixed together to create this perfect holistic health planner the first section oh and check this out isn't this so cute i just made this i made this on canva and i just got a nice new laser printer and some nice paper this is 40 pound paper right here but i'm playing around with making my own cover pages um anyways i made this super cute very hungry caterpillar cover page the back is just blank but i have let's see five planners mixed into here each section is separated by these nice double-sided dividers so we have my fitness section front and center oops and then we have my meal plan section and then i have a budget budget here and then i have faith and then lastly i have my garden section and a section for filler paper in the back but we're going to be working in my fitness planner section i want to review how last week went and what i plan to do this coming week this is my monthly i like summarizing all my workouts on the monthly i'm trying to be very consistent with my fitness planning because i want this to be a way to hold myself accountable and knowing that i'm filming it and sharing it helps me to stay consistent with it so just a quick flip through, this was the first week of the year slash the last week of 2022. And then <laughs> the week of COVID-19. And then this week, this was the last fitness planner spread that I filmed. Let me pull these out. It's currently Monday morning and I'm going to set up my fitness planner for this week here but first let's review how last week went let, let me see if i can zoom in a little bit okay there we go okay so this is how last week turned out it was a mixed bag i'm not gonna lie i knocked some workouts out of the park others i just totally skipped so let's start with this side so Monday, um, I planned on stretching and walking. I did walk. I actually walked 127 minutes. That is over two hours and in total burned 510 calories. The reason why I walked so much actually was because I, first of all, commute to campus. I work at the University of California, Riverside, and I park way, 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 way out from where my office building is. I walk over a mile to get to my office. So whenever I commute to campus, I'm walking at least two miles every day just to get to and from my office. And then this time around, I actually had to go back to my car because I needed to head out in the middle of the workday to actually go do some field collections. And so I walked <laughs> quite a bit and I actually did stretch as well. So I crushed my workout on Monday. I walked, I stretched steps, 19,000 calories, 2,200. Very happy with that. Water, I need to work on my water. I really do. Tuesday is when things started to get a little bit shaky. Tuesday, I was supposed to stretch and walk, but the thing was that I actually kind of had a strain, a hamstring strain from stretching on Monday. It had been a while since I had stretched this intensely, and so on Monday, I got a really good stretch in, but I also kind of injured my hamstring. I need to write that down, actually. Um, injured my... 
It's, it was actually my right hamstring too. Um, and it was super sore for days. It's finally starting to feel okay. Like around Saturday, Sunday, I started to feel okay with my hamstring. But I ended up not being able to really stretch too much, at least my hamstrings, Tuesday and Wednesday, and I had planned on stretching both of these days. It's starting to feel all right now, like by Saturday I started feeling okay with my right hamstring, but I was not able to stretch on Tuesday. Okay, and then Tuesday, like I said, um, I injured my right hamstring, so I was not able to do this stretch here. I actually did not do this leg and booty workout, um, this 15 minute leg and booty workout on Tuesday because my hamstring was hurting. Tuesday was kind of a wash for me. Um, I still walked a lot. I got 16,000 steps in, but I didn't stretch, didn't um, do the leg workout. I just walked on Tuesday and I didn't drink that much water at all. Tuesday was just kind of uh, not a good day, but Wednesday I'm happy to report that I actually did stretch. Um, I didn't do this front split stretch too much because my hamstring was hurting, but I did stretch out my left leg and I stretched out my right leg as much as I could with the injury. And so I did do this. I did like a modified version of this, kind of favoring my right hamstring. I did walk a lot. I did commute to campus this day, so I was walking quite a bit. I hit almost 17,000 steps. And actually on Wednesday, I ended up doing this leg and booty workout, this 15 minute leg and booty workout. I, I shifted it over to um, Wednesday, um, moved it over because of injury. Uh, because. So I did complete this workout and I ran. I ran two miles on the treadmill. I kept a 10 minute a mile pace. The treadmill recorded 22 minutes, which I'm surprised it recorded 22 minutes actually now that I look at it because you know you would think it would be just 20 minutes, but I don't know. <laughs> the treadmill is off, I guess. And then calories, 213 calories. I'm very happy with this. Two miles. I don't even remember the last time I ran. I think I ran let's see mm, i think the last time i ran was the 25th oh christmas the last day i ran was on christmas so i haven't run since christmas this is the first time i ran since christmas and so i'm happy that i got two miles in and i think on christmas i ran like two miles and a half so that is that oh and for habit trackers for 10k steps i hit that goal five times out of seven i like that stretching i actually wasn't too good with stretching i just did it for three days out of the seven and then lastly walking the dogs 30 minutes in the a.m that was a little tough for me i'm just trying to get my mornings together getting my morning routine set up this can definitely be improved okay and then for the last half of the week Okay, I'm embarrassed to admit that I was supposed to do 20 minute yoga sessions both Thursday and Friday. Those did not happen, did not happen. Um, I just didn't make the time, honestly. I was so busy, it, it happens. I was supposed to do an upper body workout here for 15 minutes, didn't happen. Thursday, ugh, I don't know, it just it just didn't happen. I even journaled here, didn't work out today besides walking, didn't make the time. It was one of those days where just thing after thing after thing kept on happening and I just didn't make the time. I kind of feel the same way about Friday. I commuted to campus. When I commute, it's always a little bit less time in my day because I commute one hour in and then one hour back. Plus on top of that, I walk like 25 minutes to even get to my office and then 25 minutes back. So my entire commute is like an hour and a half. So it's like three hours a day. I'm just like getting to where I need to be when I commute. I did get um, a good number of steps on Friday. Actually, this is probably a severe underestimation because this was my step count like at 5 p.m. And then I actually, um, we went out, me and my boyfriend went out and we ended up dancing in a neighborhood bar till like midnight and dancing all night on the club floor is definitely a workout. And I didn't bring my Fitbit because my Fitbit is like chunky and it, doesn't look super cute. <laughs> and so I probably had like 20,000 steps on Friday, but I did not do my 15 minute booty and leg workout or my 20 minute yoga session. So uh, 
just kind of back-to-back -back struggle bus. Saturday, also struggle bus. I don't have Fitbit stats because I didn't wear my Fitbit on Saturday. I try to wear my Fitbit every day, but sometimes I just forget about it, and so no stats here. And honestly, Saturday was kind of a wash. <laughs> I drank quite a bit Friday night. We were up super late, and so Saturday was just a day of like rest and recuperation. I was supposed to do a 25-minute full body. That didn't happen, so yeah. Sunday, also kind of a mixed bag. I was supposed to do the stretch, the 15 minute front split stretch and a run. I did do the run, did not do the front split stretch. I did stretch for five minutes, but I did not do the 15 minute front split because my hamstring was starting to feel better by this, but I wanted to kind of give it a break. And so I skipped this. I did run though. And again, I forgot to wear my Fitbit for the majority of the day, but I was walking all over. Today was a day that we, um, or Sunday was the day we took down our Christmas tree and took down all the decorations, which were quite a bit. And so I was walking all over the house. I did so many chores, cleaned the bathroom, cleaned the kitchen, cleaned the living room, um, walked the dogs and ran um, almost two miles. So, but I just didn't wear my Fitbit. So I'm sure that it was like 16,000 steps or so. But again, sometimes I just, some days I just don't remember to wear my Fitbit. But I did run, I ran 1.89 miles and I ran it kind of slow, like 12 minute and a half, 12 minute and a half pace, uh, 23 minutes running, almost 24, and I burned 192 calories. I'm glad that I ran, it felt good, but again, this week I felt was kind of a struggle, a mixed bag, but I'm excited to work on improving my workouts next week. And water, I don't know what's going on. I've I've just been struggling with the water. I've been drinking like a liter a day, which is nowhere near enough. Like I need to be drinking two liters a day. And yeah, I just, I need to work on that. Okay, it's time to set up the new spread for the new week. And yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set up my little pre-planning sticker right here. Love it. And this is gonna be exactly how I set up my previous week's red because honestly, I'm not trying to be like super innovative, super creative um, in my fitness planner. It's honestly just to help me stay accountable, stay motivated and keep track of my stats. I'm not trying to be cute or creative in this. This is very, very functional. Just the fact that I'm using stickers, honestly, um, it makes it fun and creative for me. So yeah, we're not gonna go too crazy with the fitness planner, but I always like to start off with my pre-plan to give me an idea of what I wanna do in the coming week. And you know what? In order to be cute, we're going to use a purple pen. This is my Paper Mate Flare. Okay, let's see. It's Monday. Today's Monday. Um, I'm going to stretch and run. Stretch and run. And how I like setting up my pre-plan, I always look at what I did last week and I see what I was able to accomplish. And if I was able to accomplish it, I do it again and I up the ante. And if I wasn't able to accomplish it, then I set myself the same challenge or even like decrease it a little bit. So for example, Monday last week, stretch and walk. Okay, so I'm, I, did, I did accomplish that. So Monday, I'm gonna stretch and run. So I'm upping the ante a little bit. Tuesday, stretch and legs. Um, I was not able to do that. So I can either give myself the same challenge, stretch and legs, or I can decrease it a little bit and make it a little bit more achievable. I am gonna do just legs at this point because I think I have been stretching well enough. I don't need to do the same 15 minute front split stretch again. And honestly, I kind of want to let my hamstring rest a little bit. So Tuesday's legs, Wednesday, stretch and run. Um, sure, let's stretch and run. And Tuesday, I mean, Wednesday I ran two miles. So this Wednesday I'll up the ante and run three miles. Thursday, arms and yoga. Um, yeah, I want to challenge myself to do yoga and arms again. And then Friday I was supposed to do booty and yoga. So let's do that again. 
I'm not going to change the workout until I am able to achieve it. Saturday, full body. Yes, full body. And then Sunday, um, stretch and run. And I'll increase the um, distance for that one. Okay, so that's my pre-plan. And then next is habit trackers. We have some habit trackers here. I love me some habit trackers. Let's pull for them. I love these habit trackers especially. I'll pull for three. Perfect. Okay, awesome. And the habits I'm going to be tracking are 10k plus steps, as always. Um, five minute stretch. And then lastly, walk dogs 30 minutes in the a.m. Um, basically the same habits from last week because clearly I need to work on these habits still. They're not completely ingrained in me. So those are going to be the habits. And let me just grab a little clear sticker and pop that right there. Time to sweat. Love it. Okay, Monday. So Monday, um, Monday's going to be the stretch and run. So let's pop down a box for the stretch and then the run. I'll grab my mild liner and oh, before I get into that, no, honestly, I'll do this first. Okay, and then I'm going to use these cute little run stickers um, right here. Run. And I'm going to set up the like run tracker here. So for my run trackers, I keep track of distance, pace, time, and calories. And I'm gonna pop one of these stickers here on Wednesday as well as on Sunday. Perfect. Oh, and a Fitbit stat sticker right there. I'll grab another one for the other side here, like so. I like using this row for my Fitbit stats and then this row for my hydration tracker. Ooh, let's pop a little bottle right there. Love that. Okay, Tuesday, it's going to be my, my leg workout. So I'm going to put this up here. And I actually need to write down um, what I'm going to be doing. So Monday today, I'm going to be doing my front split stretch, the 15 minute front split stretch. Tuesday at legs, 15 minutes. Maybe I'll write the details of that workout down here. And legs, I'm just doing 15 minute legs. Oh, and for my Fitbit stats, I like using a mild liners to um, mark out like the spots where I'm gonna write down the stats. Like so, Wednesday, stretch and run. And then for Wednesday, I am going to chill on the front split stretch. Um, let's do a full body, a full body stretch. 15 minutes. If my hamstring feels okay, I might still do that front split stretch, maybe like half of it. And then I'll do like the other half focusing on my upper body and back. We'll see. Because I do like to stay consistent with the front split stretch because it helps me to maintain my flexibility and I like be being able to do splits. But we'll see. We'll listen to my body. I might have to kind of take it easy with my hamstring injury. And then Wednesday we're going to run as well. So let me set up my distance and pace tracker. And of course I have to do hydration trackers. 
Um, let me grab this book. This is a Agenda 52 book and let me grab some of these. Maybe I'll do like a staggered approach here. Hydrate girl. Perfect. And then let's flip it over. Thursday, it's yoga and arms, yoga and booty. Okay, here are my yoga stickers. And this time I'm really gonna try to not give up and not do these. We're gonna try, we're gonna try to do my yoga. And I'll grab these boxes and I'll write yoga. 20 minutes. It's just 20 minutes. I can find 20 minutes to do some freaking yoga. Yoga. 20 minutes. And then what else? Um, so Thursday's arms, Friday is booty. So let's use these stickers. Arms, and then we can use this purple one for booty upper body workout upper body workout 20 minutes and then legs and booty workout 20 minutes so i need to remember that thursday and friday i need to set aside an hour at least like 45 to 50 minutes to work out and let me set up my fitbit highlighter stats okay that reminds me so like i said i'm trying to run a marathon this year i printed out this marathon um fitness program from the hal higdon website this is a novice one program and this is supposed to be for someone who isn't a huge runner like isn't starting off like a big runner and i wanted to make this as easy for me as possible because i have run some i would say like running is something i enjoy doing and it's always been a part of my fitness routine but i'm not a huge runner and particularly last year i took quite a break from running after my surgery the most I've ever run is about 11 miles, and that was maybe two years ago at this point. And I don't remember the last time I ran more than five miles. That might have been eight, nine months ago at this point. So that's why I printed out my Novice One training plan. This is a training plan over 18 weeks to run a marathon. And so this is what it looks like. So week one, Monday is rest, Tuesday is a three mile run, Wednesday is a three mile run, Thursday is a three mile run, Friday is a rest day. You run six miles on Saturday and then you do some kind of um, cross training on Sunday. Cross training is any like aer aerobic, cardio activity, swimming, biking, things like that. I'm thinking of starting this next week and honestly I'm going to have to take a break in about three weeks because I have surgery again at the very beginning of February. I'm having another stapedectomy. I had a stapedectomy last June. My inner ear bone was removed and a titanium prosthetic was placed inside instead of my regular bone because I have hearing loss issues. So I did my left ear in June, which was my worst year. And then um, in February, I'm going to be going in again to do my state, another stapedectomy on my right side. And I'm gonna have to take about a month, maybe a month and a half off from running after that surgery. But I have that tucked in here so I can look at it. It's gonna be intense. But this week, I think what I'm gonna do is run three times. I'm not gonna do it Tuesday, Wednesday, th uh, Thursday, Saturday. I think I'm gonna do it Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. Anyway, um, Saturday, we're doing the full body workout because I didn't do it last week. So full body workout. 
and this is also going to be 25 minutes and that's it for Saturday and then the last thing I need to do here is set up my running tracker so distance pace Oh, and we're supposed to do a stretch as well. So Sunday we're stretching and similarly to Wednesday, I think I'm going to do a full body stretch. Full body stretch. 15 minutes. Cool. Oh, and hydration trackers. Okay, this looks good. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do is I like to decorate a little bit at this point. Once I've set everything down that I need to set down, then I take a few minutes just to jazz it up, throw some stickers down, have some fun. I try to leave some space to journal and to add more stickers as the day, as the week progresses, but I also do like to add some decorative stickers at this point. So I'm going to um, just go through my book here. Um, these cardio stickers I think would look so cute next to the days I'm running. So let me add those. I love these cardio stickers. Cute. Maybe a quote sticker. Um, you can and you will. I'll put this um, maybe right here. Yeah, I like that. So maybe like a little workout um, clothes right there. Cute. A workout bra. I love it. A wrong wrong yoga girl right here. Ooh, I love this girl right here. Do your best. I will. I will try. And then I have this sticker right here. It says success is a series of small wins. I think it would fit really well right there. And then we're done with this sheet. And I think I would like to use these dumbbell stickers um, right here, upper and body, upper body workout. I think that would look good. And I'll grab just this, you got this flag and then put this maybe right here and i'm gonna grab this workout sticker and put it and this is cute this wellness report i'm gonna pop that down here and i think the last thing i'm gonna do is add this you can sticker and pop it where should i put this maybe right there Okay, I think that's it. I think I'm good. I've added quite a bit of stickers to the spread. It's super cute. And I'm happy with how it turned out. I love it. It's motivating. Let's see how many workouts I get in this week. Honestly, I was a little frustrated with how little I did this week. I feel like I didn't do as much as I wanted to, obviously. But I have to remember that this is coming from this week. Like... Anyways, thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it. Let me know what workouts you're enjoying. I would love to know. I'm always looking for inspiration. And I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.